Hey guys, how you doing? It's Katsai here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over uh, uh, Salesforce, Salesforce ticketing system, how to create a contact on Salesforce. Uh, I want to go over this because it's stuff that you really need to know if you're going to do Salesforce or Salesforce ticketing system because I have done it in the past in several of my jobs. And I've been in charge of creating contacts in several of my jobs in the past as well. So you should understand how this works. Uh, and I'm giving you something different because a lot of companies are asking for Salesforce experience now. So I have to go over this. Uh, obviously, if, you, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. All right. So let me share my screen. I'm going to show you how to get access to this for free. And I'm going to put it on my um, put it on my description of my video. So let me share my screen real quick. Screen, screen dos. All right. So right here. So this is the website you'll go to. Uh, Salesforce AP that slash form slash sign up slash free trial sales. And uh, in order for you to get an account for 30 days, this is 30 days, you don't got to put your debit card or anything. You literally put your information here, which is what I did. And then I signed up. The reason why I open have it open in Canito mode because I don't want to share my personal information because I have personal information open here. Uh, and I don't want to share that information. So since I don't want anyone calling me in the middle of the night, but yeah. Yeah, before we go over um, the ticketing system, I want to say uh, this video is sponsored by Jules from Simply Cyber. Take action and follow Gerald Alger from, from Simply Cyber. You can go to simplycyber.io slash socials. Um, I will put it right here and enjoy this tip and video of Simply Cyber. Thank you, Gerald, for uh, sponsoring me for the month of March. Really appreciate it. So you're going to be seeing a bunch of videos being sponsored by Simply Cyber for the month of March. Enjoy this tidbit video and, and we'll get back to you shortly on those tickets. Are you feeling lost in the vast world of cybersecurity, overwhelmed by technical jargon and confusing career paths? You're not alone. That's why I built Simply Cyber. Hi, I'm Dr. Gerald Ozier. Come join Simply Cyber, your supportive and inclusive community for navigating the exciting world of cyber. There's so much to take advantage of. Master the skills you need with Simply Cyber Academy, offering in-depth courses aligned with the GRC analyst role. Never feel isolated. Connect with fellow cyber enthusiasts and professionals in our thriving Discord server. Ask questions, get feedback, share your journey. Check out the Simply Cyber YouTube channel, delivering insightful interviews. What are your thoughts around, you know, web app pen testing as entry level? And I, I included Bug Bounty here because that's very accessible to everybody. Practical skill demos and daily cyber threat briefs all hosted by industry experts. There's so much more to discover. Are you ready to join the community and empower your future? Visit simplycyber.io slash socials for all the links and start your cyber adventure today. So now that you, you sign up with the with the account, um, it should look like this. And it looks a little weird, but this should look like this. And then here... Here is where you actually create the account. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is I want to show you how to make an account. So what I did was I created an account right here and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to start from the beginning. So just so you guys are aware of it. So I'm going to start from the, the beginning and I'm going to go and delete this account. So I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to hit delete this account. And it says you're attempting to delete the account because it's associated with the following case. I know why it's doing that. I have a case open. So since it's giving me a hard time, I'm just going to create a brand new account. So I went ahead and a new account. And you know, I'm a big, I'm a big component of um, food, right? So I'm going to call this Chipotle. And um, it says parent account. I'm going to create a, a new account. So the account name is going to be called Chipotle. And I'm going to put here as what type of business, what type of person or what type of uh, user is this person? Are they an analyst? Are they a competitor? Are they a customer? Uh, they are a reseller. Uh, so I'm going to put them there. And then it's going to be a new account. And we're going to call this uh, Starbucks. I'm going to call it Chipotle, right? And uh, here is going to be their information, which is, let me get out of this. It's confusing for you. All right. It's already, it's already settled, so I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, you can put the number here, what industry there are. This is food, right? Food and beverage, uh, and then save. So now, now it's created. Now the account is created. Um, they're actually a reseller, and, you know, their food, their food and beverage. So we, we did it already. So it's, it's going to give me, it shouldn't give me an error message. It should work. So now if we go here to accounts, we have two of them. I created two of them by accident. 
um, which is eh, not the end of the world. I, I delete one. It's fine. Um, so now, now you have an account here. Uh, you have a contact. So I wanna I wanna create a new user. This is how you create a new user, so you guys are aware. Uh, search for accounts. So I'm gonna put an account here. Here you put the title of the person that you're trying to add in in Salesforce. So here I'm going to put. I'm um, thinking in my head right now. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, IT manager. And then for their email address, I'm going to open up Office Office 365 because I do have an Office 365 account. Uh, their email address. I'm going to see if I have any active users on my, on my Office 365 account. One, two. I do have a user. I'm going to put Joe in here. Uh, so I'm going to copy and paste Joe. That's my email address, by the way. So you guys ever want to email me? That's my email address. This is one of my email addresses. I have several. This is Joe. Uh, I'm going to put him as Mr. And uh, I'm going to put Joe here. Uh, he's going to try to pick my, my name by default, which is kind of annoying. I'm not trying to do that. All right. So Joe. Joe. Um, I don't know. Joe. um. Joe Pizza. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, and then you're going to hit save, and that's it. So that, that, now we have an account there named Joe, Mr. Joe Pizza. <laughs> um, and now if you want to if you, if you learn about uh, building a case number or building cases, it will be in here. So literally here, you hit change owner. Or, um, you, have to create an, you have to create a record first. But I can't do that right now. So you hit new. Uh, and in the case, the contact owner is Joe, and he's from Joe Pizza. I know it's so, he's from, the name is funny because this is a uh, Mexican restaurant and the, the name is Pizza, which is so weird, but uh, you get the GIF, right? So then make a new status here. This is a problem. So this person is having a problem. They're emailing me about a problem. Uh, there's a new problem. There's a high priority. So I'm going to put here, and this already filled out for me. Account lockout. I can't. Log in to my PC. Can you please help? Question mark. So then once that's done, you hit save. The account is there. And then here the ticket is assigned to me. Um, and uh, that's it. And that's pretty much it. And then if I want to change the owner of the ticket, I could search here. So I have two accounts here. I'm going to put this one. Change the owner. Um, and then I'm going to go to close the ticket. You have to go and change the view settings from what I learned. So it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, you know, because certain settings aren't set up correctly, which is why it wasn't working for me. So I have two cases open. It's the same issue twice in a row. So two tickets are assigned to the same person, which is me, right? So what I want to do is you want to click on Chipotle. You want to, and the, this, is the, this is the contact Joe Pizza. Uh, they have a case open. You want to click on the case. You want to click on the case again. Um, you can delete the case. You can edit it. So here you can add some uh, relevant notes to it. So you can log a call and say, I already unlocked your uh, account. Can you please try uh, again? Question mark. And then you hit save. Uh, and then he could probably he's gonna say, Yeah, I did it already, blah, blah blah. I'm good to go. Can you please close my ticket? So then um you have to go to view settings here, uh, and then switch to Salesforce Classic, right? And then here is the here is the ticketing system. And this is your new task, new event, log. It looks different, it looks a little wonky. And it says here some information about the dashboard, some more information right here. Um, and then I have to look for the actual case, which is that case. The case is right here. And here you could close the case. So close the case. So I hit close the case. Close. Um, he, he is now able to log in. And then hit save. And that's it. Now the case is closed. Kevin closed his case. So now if you go back to uh, view settings, switch back to lightning experience. And if you go to um, the, the case number is now closed. So that, that option is there now. So it's closed now. And you go back to home. 
And you go back to accounts here. You have two accounts. There should be no cases still there. Status is closed. You could see the case is still there. You could view an old case if you want. Um, and then go back to your accounts, go to Starbucks. Same thing right here, same thing right here. Um, this one have the, the close option. So I, I have to go and change it back to this uh, and, then, and then select that one and then close it. So the accounts are right here. You see the accounts are right here. I know it looks a little wonky. Um, and this is you can you can merge you can merge context if you want. Uh, this is Derek Wong. This is the this is another is another email address that I have, and here you can see that they have one case open, so I could just click on that case from here, doing it this way. Then I could close the case. And I and I'm gonna I'm not gonna put any notes on this one because I already like you know just to show you right as an example. But you usually you normally put notes on these cases right, so. The case is already closed. Um, so you could create it, you could create an account or a contact through this way. This is how I used to do it a long time ago. I, I didn't do it this way because this didn't this lightning this didn't exist. This didn't exist back then when I first started. Um when I first started working with Salesforce. But those are those were the several those are the several ways of how to uh, do it, if that makes sense. Um and then hopefully I'll get someone that's a Salesforce expert expert to go more in depth with the Salesforce stuff for you guys. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing. So yeah, that's it for me. That's it for me in a nutshell. Hopefully this helps you out. If you're brand new to IT and brand new to Salesforce, it's not complicated. You just put a little notes here and there, and then you close the ticket after that. And that's how you created an account. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace. Bye.